The Bison Armored Personnel Carrier represents a Canadian adaptation of the Mawag Piranha, configured as an 8x8 vehicle and manufactured in Canada under the name Light Armored Vehicle, LAV. Developed by General Motors of Canada, the Bison was created in an incredibly short span of seven days. The initial Bison prototype debuted in 1988, followed by production starting the next year, with the first operational units entering service by 1990. This vehicle succeeded the Grizzly Armored Personnel Carrier. Presently, the Bison is primarily utilized by Canada, boasting a fleet of 199 units, while Australia operates 97. Additionally, Approximately 12 bisons have been procured by the U.S. National Guard to bolster anti-drug operations. While bearing a resemblance to the Mawag Piranha, the bison boasts numerous distinct features, notably a floor-mounted rail system facilitating swift installation or removal of various equipment suites, thus enabling adaptability for diverse roles. Moreover, the bison incorporates modifications such as a removed turret and an elevated roofline. It offers enhanced armor protection compared to the LAV. Positioned at the vehicle's forefront on the left side, the driver is accompanied by the commander situated behind. The engine and transmission are housed on the right side of the hull. Functioning as an APC, the Bison accommodates up to eight troops, with seating arrangements adjustable via a sizable power-operated rear ramp, allowing for alternative configurations. Typically, armament on Bison variants consists of a 7.62mm machine gun positioned above the commander's hatch, supplemented by smoke grenade launchers. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with an NBC protection system. Powered by a Detroit Diesel 6V53T diesel engine generating 275 horsepower, the Bison possesses full amphibious capabilities achievable within approximately two minutes of preparation. Its aquatic mobility is facilitated by two water jets located at the rear of the hull. Over time, all Canadian Bison APCs were phased out in favor of the newer LAV-3 armored vehicles. The 199 surviving Bisons underwent refurbishment and conversion into support variants, serving as ambulances, recovery vehicles, electronic warfare platforms, among others. These new iterations feature upgraded engines, provisions for add-on armor, and various other enhancements.